here we are so uh, first of all uh, we should be clear about different terms used in the use used by the operating system while converting and different programs written in high level assembly language and uh, uh, different types of programs so uh, here we need to be clear about uh, what is assembler assembler uh, is a program it is also a software uh, program uh, it generally converts assembly language into machine language this is a simple basic definition uh, as concerned with h 6 assembler uh, there are different types of h 6 assembler available uh, in the market uh, the popular one can be uh, this uh, TASM uh, which is also called turbo assembler and other popular uh, assembler is uh, the MASM or that is Microsoft assembler uh, or the third one is ESM86 these are all different types of assemblers are uh, used uh, worldwide uh, to study uh, about uh, to write the programs in H06 uh, and to execute them using uh, DOS bias drops so um, uh, this is all about assembler and uh, so before writing assembly language program in H086 we need to be clear uh, about uh, what are the advantages actual advantages of assembly language program so that we could focus on that uh, uh, there are different advantages of assembly language program over uh, high level language and normally uh, these are the main points uh, that describe the advantages of assembly language programs uh, normally the program uh, written in assembly language program requires considerably less memory uh, so if the programs are small and uh, they are uh, defined directly in the uh, processor they are defined directly in the microprocessor uh, so uh, instructions are defined uh, by the uh, programmer uh, so they occupy considerably less memory and moreover uh, is no library different library functions uh, need not be defined uh, is in high level language so uh, the assembly language programs requires considerably less memory and the execution time is faster than the high level language. The second point is that assembly language uh, programmer programs uh, gives a programmer the ability to perform a highly technical task. Highly technical task or refers uh, to um, the near mechanical uh, taking the mechanical advantages or this is the programs written in assembly language are near to the machine uh, so uh, uh, using those assembly language programs and using these instructions uh, which are easily understood by uh, the microprocessor we can define uh, different types of functions and different types of technical tasks uh, so this is another second advantage and the third advantage is that uh, much of the resident programs the resident programs are those programs that reside in memory while the programs execute and these programs uh, execute in background in normally every operating systems and uh, normally the operating systems handle input and output devices using uh, interop service routing which are already defined in uh, interop vector table uh, using the interop vector table or um, these interop service routines are defined for every peripheral devices so these all programs these both resident programs interop service routine uh, are defined uh, at developing some language programs so we need uh, so uh, is they are the powerful uh, uh, programming language uh, thus uh, 
this is the main advantage of assam language programming other uh, important advantage is that uh, using the assam language programs we have more control over handling particular hardware requirements uh, so as i already said i will read to the uh, to the second point that uh, assam language programs are near to uh, this hardware so uh, they are capable of handling particular hardware requirements uh, better than other high level uh, programming language and uh, from these advantages we can derive the uh, sub points uh, or advantages is uh, that uh, it also generates smaller and compact executive modules normally is it occupies less memory and uh, the modules uh, used to uh, perform any task uh, can be smaller and more compact than high level programming language and thus uh, there is uh, faster execution of h six programs uh, than in high level uh, language uh, now as you understood the different advantage of high level programming language uh, assam language sorry assam language programming uh, over the high level language and uh, thus now we go uh, towards the uh, describing different types of assembler using r086 uh, the different types of assembler are categorized as one pass assembler two pass assembler one pass assembler and two pass assembler uh, normally the one pass assembler as it name says it only passes uh, scans the program only once and in the same scan it converts these uh, instructions available in the program into machine codes uh, so uh, uh, so it has uh, due to this uh, functionality it has uh, some advantages and uh, more disadvantages uh, here uh, the main advantage is that it supports backward reference uh, is is we, we in some uh, program condition if you want to uh, change the program uh, sequence or direct the program to backward backward already executed uh, line and then uh, this uh, one pass assembler supports it uh, that is it supports backward reference but uh, uh, as it scans and uh, same time it converts into assembly uh, language of, uh, or machine code so it, uh, it does not uh, support the forward reference because uh, while scanning the lines and converting into machine code uh, at this stage at this stage uh, at this line at this line where the some instruction is uh, described defined uh, so here label one is the label which is defined in this some instruction to be pointed unconditional one to the level present level one uh, level one but this level one is not understood by one pass assembler because uh, it is not yet defined uh, not yet defined in the program so it does not support uh, forward reference thus one pass assembler has a major drawback that it supports it has a problem with forward reference thus uh, this uh, problem this problem of one pass assembler is uh, is avoided or um, uh, it is solved in two pass assembler and uh, this two pass assembler uh, actually uh, the mason or tason is it defined here defined uh, previously these all assemblers 
to process and this assembler scans the assembly language program twice uh, first of all first of all in the first pass it generates the table of symbols which consists of label with address assigned to them so all the labels available in the programs and the address on which labels on which on which address these labels are defined so address label label address all those are all those level address number of levels and address uh, defined the programs are already stored in um, the set uh, memory uh, memory already defined and uh, as soon as on the second pass uh, it uh, starts executing uh, executing the program line by line and uh, uh, in case of this second example second example to pass assembler understands this level only because uh, it has already been defined in the uh, memory uh, that uh, because this level and the corresponding address uh, memory address are stored in the uh, memory uh, in the in first scan so uh, the program control can jump here unconditionally uh, while scanning while scanning the program so while scanning and ascending the program thus in this way to pass assembler has number of advantage and it is commercially uh, used worldwide uh, due to its uh, this main support of forward backward uh, good type of references uh, uh, besides this one pass and two pass assembler uh, there is another macro assembler uh, macro macro assembler means uh, the assembler which converts the macro language macro language macro language wherever it finds the macro keyword and uh, then it sources for the uh, macronym macronym which is defined here as move uh, macronym and the um, uh, parameters passed uh, uh, parameters defined or uh, passed in this macro call and this we call macro call uh, macro call are also passed along with the macro uh, call for macro definition so here uh, move macro move uh, macro is defined uh, in program like this uh, move bar one bar two move is a macro so this is a macro call in the program and this is the macro definition which is should write uh, before the normally at the top of the program we write and as soon as in the program this move macro move is move keyword is found and then it uh, then it goes to the macro macro uh, definition macro definition where move macro is defined and in move macro in this uh, first of all ax is pushed and then v is moved to ax and then a on a ax value is uh, moved to a and uh, and then ax is popped up uh, in this way indium uh, is other keyword which is used to in the macro uh, in this way this is the macro definition and this is the macro call as soon as this macro is called in the program and uh, then it is replaced by whole this line of code uh, these six lines of course are replaced uh, are replaced here in the main program uh, wherever and the assembler sees the uh, macro uh, keyword and in this way macro assembler is used to define the uh, macros uh, in any program and macro assembler converts this macro uh, converts first of all this uh, replaces all the macro names uh, and variables with corresponding macro definition uh, in, in this is one of the move and uh, other move and uh, number of moves uh, move keywords where it finds 
uh, it replaces all the keywords with this macro definition and uh, and then uh, after writing after uh, uh, replacing is all macro uh, call with macro definition uh, at the other stage it converts into uh, async code at uh, in other stage this is also one of the uh, important feature uh, that is required uh, to be understood to be understood uh, in this stage uh, this is all about macro assembler so um, this all is about different types of assembler using 8086 uh, that's all for today